I know you've seen probably a hundred different ways to uh, level your transducer on your depth finder or fish finder, whatever you want to call it. Uh, well, this is going to be number 101 way to do it. So uh, I got to thinking about this. I, I see people stack up coins under a level and all that stuff on the side of the boat and everything. And I got to thinking and I got to looking around in my garage and I remember and I had this. This mm -hmm. is a, uh, actually it's, it's called a protractor level. This is a Sears Craftsman. Uh, it's a 3983 protractor. And the cool thing about it is the level here on the inside is adjustable. So you can set it right here and you, you turn the angle until the bubble gets centered where you want it. And you can replicate that angle by setting it somewhere else. So I thought, hmm, that would work really nice for the side of the boat so we could uh, get how the boat sits in the water. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna simply, uh, and you wanna pay attention to the front and the back on this too, it's that's kind of important there. Uh, so the front is this side right here. We're gonna take that and we're gonna set it right here. Let me move this out of the way where you can see here. We're gonna set it right here on the gunnel and then we're going to turn this dude until it levels out. And they're, they're a little fidgety sometimes. Sometimes it, it helps also if you maybe lubricate the uh, the little chassis inside where it turns around. This one hasn't been lubricated in some time, so it's going to give me a little bit of a fight here. But uh, there we go. So pretty much got the bubble in the center now. Okay, so what I've done now is I've established the angle on here. And this boat sitting in the water right now, he just got a new Humbird Helix 10 on here. He's got a nice second gen here. And he's, he took a guess at his uh, transducer, so we're gonna check that when we get out of the water here and go ahead and throw this thing back on it. And what you do, when you get out of the water, you set your boat on the trailer, and then you put this back in the same position that it had, oriented the same way with the front this way. And then you can jack your trailer up and down until you get this level. So then your boat is setting the same way as it does in the water. Generally, they set with the rear end down a little bit lower, so you probably have to jack your trailer up just a little bit. So once you get it oriented like that, it's just a matter of going to the back transom and putting something underneath your transducer and getting it exactly level. So your transducer will be setting, pointing straight down where you get your best picture. Hope you give it a try. Uh, leave comments below if you uh, have any other ideas how we may enhance it or if you tried it and if it worked out for you or not. Uh, again, thank you for watching the videos. Uh, subscribe leave a thumbs up and all that stuff be sure to turn the uh, bell on so you get notifications of new videos but uh hopefully if you can pick one of these up it'll make leveling your transducer and your pictures on your hummingbird or any depth finder actually a lot better so see you next time y'all have a good one.